What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Friday to you guys. I am back from Connecticut. It felt so good to be back home in my trailer. I had a very good visit in Connecticut. I'll give you guys an update of how that went uh, a little later on in the video. But although I was so happy and felt so good getting back to my trailer, I got back to a hot mess. When I opened that door of my trailer and the first thing I noticed was the jackery was off. The lights weren't on. And then the second thing I noticed was my refrigerator, my portable little orange refrigerator, was not on either. So my guess was at some point they had a power outage. Now let me show you guys what I did. I had this is the orange cord. This is the orange cord to the jackery. It's plugged in the back of the jackery. I had this plugged into the wall so that my jackery could stay charged during the whole four days that I was away. But when the power went out on the campground, that took out the jackery. When the power came back on, the jackery did not come back on because you have to manually press the button to turn the jackery back on. So therefore, I don't know at what time or what point that I was gone that that happened, but when I opened up that refrigerator door, man, it smelled terrible. The food had gone bad. I was like, oh my gosh. So I ended up throwing all the food away. I cleaned the refrigerator out. I did take a couple pictures. I'll put them up here somewhere. I cleaned the refrigerator out and now I am heading to Walmart to restock on my refrigerator and get me some food back up in here. But on my way to Walmart, I'm going to stop at the uh, doctor's and I'm going to get my blood work taken because I have another appointment on Wednesday where he wants me to come in and we talk about, I guess, the results of the blood work. Now, I thought back in the days, they call you when something needs to be talked about. If nothing is going on, then, you know, they don't call you. But this particular doctor made an appointment for me to come back and talk about things. So cross your fingers, there's nothing to talk about when I go back on Wednesday. But that's that. I'm about to head to Walmart, restock. Now, I am in a very conscious state of mind right now because I have an opportunity right now to start all over because everything in there is gone. <laughs> I have an opportunity now to start all over and buy some healthier items. So we'll see what I come up with and I'll share those with you in my Walmart haul when I get back to the trailer. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back from the doctor and Walmart. As you can see, got my little cotton ball on there. Oh my goodness. She took like, I am getting checked out for everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> she took like eight tubes. It probably was a little more than eight, but I know it was at least eight tubes of blood. So I'm telling you, if anything going on inside of here, <laughs> they gonna find out, <laughs> they gonna find out. But anyway, I did my Walmart haul. And because this was like a from scratch haul, I think I spent like $162. I think that's too much for us, a, a single person to spend. And I was going through the market, like in the mindset of, okay, don't overbuy, Anthony, don't overbuy. Cause I really be, I be buying too much food. So I think I did a really good job. And I also was thinking, okay, can we buy a little bit healthy? Let's just be conscious a little bit now. And I had my little phone out with my little sodium scanner. I was scanning things and carrying on. I was, I was trying. I'm trying. But let's get into this haul. Let's get into this haul. All right. <clears throat> let's start with, I bought some more chicken wingettes. Because I'm going to grill again. I'm going to grill some of these again. Because this time, I'm going to do it. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to get that grilling down. 
trust me i'm gonna get the grilling down and next time i grill i'm not gonna put my sauce or anything on it until the chicken is done and just to put the sauce on it somebody even suggested that i, I take it off the grill put the sauce on it and then maybe like put it in the toaster oven or something but no i'm gonna take my little brush and i'm gonna make some barbecue barbecue is not i'm not really a big fan of barbecue but anywho i got some hamburgers because i'm definitely going to grill up some hamburgers i did not buy any bread i am eating breadless hamburgers from now on i'm just gonna put some little my toppings on there if i have to get a little knife and cut it i'm gonna cut it then i bought some regular um chicken thighs y'all know how i roll this is my preferred uh cut of chicken it feels a little dark in here i'm quite sure that one little light didn't make that much of a difference and one of the things that i really want to get back to eating more of each week is salmon i really want to get back to eating there was a short period of time where i was eating salmon at least two or three times a week so i'm going to get back to eating my salmon about two or three times a week so i bought some salmon is this oh, i about to say i had to check and make sure this was recording okay another thing that i wanted ah my bed is wet let me get this stuff off of my bed Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. This stuff is wetting up my bed. All right. One of the things that I wanted to also, one of the things that I also wanted to do a little bit better with this grocery shop is my vegetables. So, I got my usual suspects, y'all know. I love me some broccoli, so I got two bags of broccoli. Two bags of corn. These are the steam corn. So I can just put them in the microwave. And I bought some spinach. Now my plan for this spinach is I'm going to maybe in the next day or so, I'm going to make like a, I'll show you guys in a minute when I get to that bag. All right, what else did I buy? I bought two boxes of these Butterball already done turkey sausages. Bought some orange juice. Some Bertoli uh, Alfredo sauce. I have a meal in mind for this. And I love, love, love this Activia. This is the probiotics one, the fiber, uh, prebiotics, I said probiotics, prebiotics, the strawberry and pineapple. Really, really like these. Alrighty. I bought some almond milk. Uh, hopefully I'll have a place to put this, but I said, I want to drink some milk. And then I bought some more jasmine rice. I love, love, love this jasmine rice. I love the, having this boiling bag where I can just put it in the pot and be done. Now this is something different that I'm trying. I'm trying the whole grain penne, the whole grain. And I think I'm going to make some of this with something else that I bought. The Alfredo sauce and Okay, I'm missing a bag or something. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm missing a bag. I bought some shrimp. These are extra large peeled Devane tail on shrimp. I'm going to make some 
this whole grain penne with some shrimp and some sauce and maybe some little broccoli. I bought some cherry tomatoes and I bought these cherry tomatoes because I bought, I bought some baby spinach. So I'm gonna start eating a little bit of salads here and there. I already have some salad dressing in my refrigerator. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna move you guys back just a tad bit. Bought some cheese. I love, love, love pepper jack cheese. And then I bought this mozzarella cheese because this is what I'm going to also put on the salad that I make. I also like, I don't know why, but I like bacon bits in my salads. So I already had some bacon bits. And I bought one bag of this Ben's uh, butter and garlic. I already have two up there. So I wanted to get another one. And y'all know I was distraught when I got back and my butter was all melted. So I bought some more of the Kerrygold butter and uh, garlic. Bought some more of those, three of those. Two little containers of watermelon. Now, I don't know whether my eggs went bad or not during the power outage. And actually, they, they shouldn't have because the eggs are in this refrigerator, not that one. But anywho, I bought some more eggs because eggs is a really good source of protein. I thought, you know what, I'm going to start in between uh, breakfast and, and dinner. I'm going to boil maybe two eggs and eat some eggs that, like that. And then to, I'll scramble up some eggs for breakfast. I want to keep things nice and simple from here on out. I don't, I don't want to make all these 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 effort breakfasts. And like, you know, like I'm going to eat my grits eventually, and, but with my corned beef hash eventually. But... And another thing that I wanted to make, oh, before I get into that, I got some oyster sauce <clears throat> because I put this oyster sauce, because one day coming up, I'm going to make some beef and broccoli, not beef, chicken and broccoli with uh, some shrimp. I might do that today. Yeah, I might fix that meal today. That sounds delicious, doesn't it? That sounds delicious to me. <laughs> All right, and I restocked on my Tabitha Brown. I did not buy that third one because I have yet to figure out what that goes on and I got a whole one in there. But I'm almost out of these, so I bought some more of the Tabitha Brown. And I got me some canola spray. I don't know why I bought this. Cause you know, the main thing I was using that for is when I eat the Walmart pizza and I would spray the aluminum foil because I'm almost out of the can, the spray. <clears throat> but I didn't buy the Walmart pizza because I said, you know, I'm trying to say, oh, we're going to cut out the bread or cut out a lot of the cards and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, now, the last thing that I have here, and I bought a uh, case of water that's still in the truck. But the last thing I bought that I wanted to be more conscious, more aware of was my snacks. I don't know about you guys, but I need some snacks. And the best I can do is try to find the best snacks that I can eat, <laughs> you know, that doesn't have sugar in it. So I looked through Walmart and I was looking at like the no sugar wafers and no sugar in this. And then I came across these couple of things. So gotta have my snacks I bought some I love 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 Twizzlers and these are zero sugar Twizzlers oh my gravy I never knew these things existed because of course I never was looking for things that had no sugar in it but oh my gravy then I bought 
some zero sugar gummy bears. I gotta have my snacks. But this is the big one here. This is the granddaddy all here, boy. When I saw this, boy, I was like, woohoo! Some Hershey's Zero Sugar Assorted Candy. I love chocolate. Love chocolate. Because I usually get I usually get the um mm. excuse me. I usually get the peppermint patties, but I saw on Amazon they sell the no sugar peppermint patties. Uh, I'm gonna order those too, but not probably next couple weeks. But look at this sugar free chocolate. So I met an FOA today, and <laughs> I'm always like. It always catches me off guard when I when I meet someone. But at the same time, I'm happy to have met them and had a chance to thank them in person for the support. Uh, he said that he'd been watching the channel for like a year or a little more than a, longer than a year. So thank you, Larry, for being an FOA and supporting the FOA community as well as myself. I forgive. Uh, I forgot yeah, the person that was with you's name. So. I think you said Josh. Was that it? Larry. Was that it? I'm talking about Larry. I hope it was Larry. <laughs> I'm sure it was Larry because it just now happened. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure it was Josh. Okay. Let me know, Larry. Let me know. But anyway, guys, that is it for my Walmart haul today. I am going to put all these things away. And then a little later, um, I'm going to uh, fix myself some dinner. Don't know if it'll be in this video because it might be too late for me to do a, the cooking part and then get it all together to be a part of this video. But I definitely probably will get some lunch. That don't make sense. I say I definitely, which means you will. And then I say probably, which means you might not. Anywho, all right. Catch you guys later. Let's put this food away. Leftover carry. Got some nice uh, Caesar dressing.
I'm actually gonna put this Y'all already know, ain't no fancy editing over on this channel. And when I say no fancy editing, I don't mean no editing at all. I don't just, I don't do the bells and whistles. Okay, I gotta find a place for my milk. See if it can go on this door. Yeah. Okay, got room for one more thing. <sighs> All right, I gotta find some room for that. I gotta find some room for these. Ay, ay, ay. Gotta find some room for these. And then I'll be done. Alright. See you guys a little later on. Welcome to Ohio. Alright, before I end this video, I wanted to give you guys an update on how my trip to Connecticut went. Um, as far as the drive there, it was a eight and a half hour drive from this campground to Stratford, Connecticut. I did it and it took me about nine hours, nine and a half hours, an extra hour. Of course, I stopped and got gas. I only really need to stop to get gas once because it was 560 miles. And when I filled my gas tank up, it showed that I had 505, 550 something miles to that fill up. So that was pretty good. So I did stop just to refill. Um, so the trip was, the drive there was not bad at all. Uh, it was not bad coming back. I didn't get in any kind of traffic jams either direction. So the trip was, the drive there was, excuse me, pretty good. So my intent was to get there, leave on Sunday and get there on Monday. But I just kept on driving and driving and said, okay, well, I may as well just go all the way. So that's what I did. And I got there Mon uh, Sunday night around 8.30 checked into the hotel and that was that I went to see Lamont on Monday the next day um, I didn't film my visit with Lamont I did film a almost one minute clip my last day my last visit with him because um, I did I wanted to show you guys a little bit of uh, Lamont I know a lot of you guys uh, was looking forward to seeing him in a video but things have changed since you guys have last seen Lamont and I in a video he had his third stroke he uh, was put into a uh, nursing rehabilitation type of facility and you know I just didn't feel like it was appropriate for me to stick a camera in his face when you know he's probably still adjusting to his new living conditions or whatever but I will say this about uh, Lamont and what I observed about him uh, during my few visits with him he is happy he's happy 
he is just a content as all outdoors being where he is sitting up eating dinner or eating when it's time to eat and laying down watching TV he is very content and very happy just doing that so there's no need for me to be sad about his situation because he's not sad about his situation you know I can say all day long oh my god it's so sad that he's in this condition and at such a young age because Lamont is uh, three years younger than me and I'm 58 so he'll be 55 uh, in October so I figured if he's not sad then I'm not gonna be sad because he's he's just the happy he's he looks the same he has that same smile you know um, there are some things that I am noticing with him uh, one all right my phone storage kind of cut me off I'm like okay I cannot be out of memory already or storage and lo and behold I'm, you know I'm, I really don't like these iPhones I really don't they are just a pain in my behind ever since I got it and started doing my YouTube on it. I, I just don't like it. If it's one thing, if it's not one thing, it's another with these Scott Dern iPhones. And they really getting on my darn nerves. I mean, I, I think that they build these phones so that after a certain period of time, they can start malfunctioning and try to force you to buy another one and upgrade and all of this. But I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I paid $1,200 for this stupid phone and, and it can't even let me do what I need to do on it, which is not a whole lot. Is it so much Apple, <laughs> I'm about to go on a rampage <laughs> to allow me to record my God darn YouTube videos for Pete's sake. That's the only thing I do on this stupid phone. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, don't have, I didn't have these problems when I had an Android for years. But anyway, getting back to Lamar, because the iPhone gets on my freaking nerves. They really do, you know? But as I was saying before, I got the little message up there saying that I, I have no more memory or whatever. His, um, his couple things I observed about Lamont. Um, his his uh, speech has changed. Um, he's having a little bit of a challenge to to speak what he's thinking in conversation and he speaks a lot of one word uh, responses and stuff but um, I guess that comes with his condition and he also was diagnosed recently with dementia so that's something else and i could have i could have saw that coming from when we went on a cruise uh he, he wasn't able to remember a lot of things but other than that i mean other than the obvious things he seems he seems happy to me he does he seems happy i mean because the person is not happy they would they would they would let you know Oh, they're not doing this. He's not complaining about nothing. He's not talking about how the facility is treating him. He's not doing any of that. So I figure he's okay. He's happy where he is. So I'm not going to be sad about his situation. You know, it's unfortunate. But none of us, you know, none of us know what's in store for us in terms of anything, <laughs> you know. But I will go see him again in two weeks. And because um, I'm going back up that way because Michael and I are going up to uh, Provincetown, Massachusetts. This will be my first time going. He loves it up there. So I'm excited to go and experience it once for myself. I don't get up that way at all. <laughs> so this is an effort for me to say okay I'll go up it's, it's a 12 hour drive from the campground so it's even longer than the Lamont trip the Connecticut trip but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave, get up back to where Lamont is two days before I need to be meeting Michael up in uh, Massachusetts so I'm gonna break it down like that um, I spent some time with Michael it was absolutely great seeing Michael uh, we have not seen each other over a year, same with Lamont, 
over a year so we hung out went to uh, a rose garden and then we had dinner later on that day so it was pretty good nice seeing him um, looking forward to seeing him again in two weeks and then also in august he's going to come to the campground that i will be at in uh, pennsylvania hillside uh, he'll come there and do some camping there but overall i enjoyed the connecticut trip it was a nice trip um, again the drive was not bad at all y'all know me i don't mind driving i have all the time in the world to get where i need to go if i need that time so i take my time if i'm not in a take my time mode you know i put the pedal to the metal and i get there but nice 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 visit to connecticut all right so that is going to wrap it up for today's video i mean i came back to some funky stinky food other than that <laughs> i am good i'm doing i'm doing pretty good i have no complaints whatsoever I am thinking about doing something with the back of my truck because um, I really would like to just leave my trailer at the campground in Florida and just whenever I like take long stays away like now I would I'm thinking that I'm going to tent camp but I can't do that now with the setup that I have uh, with my truck because my tent is like super super long the truck up bed of my truck is small it's only five feet long so i have nowhere to put that long tent so i'm thinking of a setup where i can put my storage box on the back of my pickup truck now what what i'm thinking is i'm going to get a rack and put the rack on the back of the pickup truck and then i'll be able to put my storage box my long storage box on top of the rack then I can take all my long things with me and just tent camp. One, it would be cheaper to tent camp than to RV camp. Two, it would be better on gas because I won't be pulling my trailer with me. I would add that extra weight, which is not heavy. That's not a lot of stuff. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. So hopefully I will make a decision and if I do do it I'm going to order the things to come to my next campground when Michael is there so Michael can help me put the rack on even though I don't have the storage thing with me it's down in Florida but if I can just if he can help me just put the rack on that'd be great and I can put the box on once I get back to Florida so that is that I'm looking forward to oh me oh my let, before I forget, a reminder, I should have did this at the beginning of the video because I know a lot of y'all don't even watch the end of the video, but a reminder of the Cleveland meetup. It will be going on on Sunday, uh, July the 14th at 2 p.m. I forgot that mall that Kim told me about that she suggested, but I'll look it up and um, I'll put it in the description if I remember to do that, but I will definitely have everything set in stone in the next video which is still time for whomever uh decide trying to decide whether they'll go or not but the basic the 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 definite is it's going to be on july the 20th uh, sunday july the 14th at 2 p.m at some mall in cleveland look y'all i got him up walking every other time i asked him to get up and walk he said nope look what i did got him walking <laughs> Say hello to the channel. Hi. <laughs> Got his butt up walking. I can't believe he said yes. <laughs> Everybody from the channel wanted me to tell you hello and give you a big hug. <laughs> this all y'all gonna get from me. This all y'all gonna get from him. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.